Driving down through the intersection of routes 126 and 135, you may have noticed an odd sight. An old time caboose has been added to the end of the so-called banana lot for the commuter rail station. Since the Metro West Regional Transit Authority took over management of the area, things are being spruced up and expanded. Soon riding the rails and commuting to work from Framingham are going to be easier than ever. Ed Carr, who is the MWRT administrator, um, had this plan for a while now and finally after probably almost two years, finally was able to set up a lease uh, with the MBTA allowing us to come into this lot and leasing it and taking over all the parking enforcement and the security and things like that um, that normally you know we haven't been doing. Our buses go in and out of this. It's a really really super important lot not just only for this town and the locals that live around here but for transportation so our goal at cars goal is to make sure that this area becomes an intermodal center so both rail comes through here as well as people on bike and people walking and then our buses and it needs to be a safe location to do that properly so uh, he reached out to the Edeville Railroad um, people and they gladly were able to find something that we could use and they brought it down here and it's going to be office space. Um, what we're planning on doing with it is it's going to be refurbished. It's going to be painted white with a green stripe to match the MWRTA buses and they're going to be um, an office space for an MWRTA um, individual, probably me, as well as um, the local police, the Framingham police will have a space there as well. Eventually, we do want to um, be able to sell tickets and Charlie cards and everything like that there. Um, but in the meantime, it will just be office space until we can get things off the ground. It might take a little while to get everything going, but eventually the goal would be to have information and stuff available for people, both for the commuter rail and for our buses right in the caboose. It's going to be something a little different, a little historical piece to, to the area. Um, it was really exciting to watch it come in on the past Saturday actually came out on a flatbed truck and it was really interesting to see how they installed. There's actually rail right underneath that was actually put there just for it um, so it looks very official. With having the caboose here now um, we're going to make it handicap accessible so by doing that um, we're losing a lot of the spaces in the front. About 13 spaces we will lose and we are planning to add 200 plus in a lot. It's in the triangle area between where the commuter rails actually is and the banana lot is going to go right in between. So by adding 200 spaces will not only help the people who lost the spaces here, um, but we're also going to increase the space which will allow more people to be able to use the commuter rail which I know everybody's, it's hard to find a space to begin with. But now by having that extra lot, uh, more people will be able to come down here and enjoy and, and enjoy downtown and take the commuter rail into where they need to go or the buses or whatever. So just bear with us. We're doing the best we can. It has to get done. Um, this, this area needs to be a safer, more inviting area and we're doing everything we can in the local officials as well as the MBTA and Keolis. We're all working together to make this a better place so everybody um, everybody can use transportation all different types in a safe in a safe manner.